everybody, this is Chad with round two. So we're back with another new product spotlight video for July. As you guys know right now, logistics are pretty crazy all around the world, uh, shipping new stuff in and out. But we're able to get some pretty cool products in to show you guys. We've got three new model kits coming. We've got three uh, sci-fi model kit accessories we're going to show you. Got a new release for Johnny Lightning Street Freaks 164th. We got some new Auto World 164th to show you guys. And three new 118 Auto World uh, die cast as well. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to start with the model kits. All right, so starting off with model kits. First, in the automotive realm with AMT, we've got the AMT International Scout 2. Now, you guys might remember a couple of years ago, we put out the International Off-Road uh, Scout SS 2 kit. Uh, this is a different variation of the International Scout. That other kit was a little more off-road oriented. This with a removable roof. This one has the uh, hardtop roof on it. A little more of a stock International Scout. Uh, some really cool features with this kit. It is molded in yellow plastic. Comes with uh, off-road style vinyl tires on it. We've expanded the decal sheet on this and kept that vintage uh, style packaging on the kit as well. You can get a look here at some of the... Uh, Cool things about building it uh, one piece easy to assemble chassis interior unit so it goes together pretty easy there uh, plated shifters mag wheels with the Goodyear tires the front and rear axle assemblies with snap lock uh, axle pins and some other cool stuff that comes with it CB radio you got that uh, detailed V8 engine the bucket seats little checklist manual uh, just a really cool kit especially for you off-road guys there's a look at the parts tree for that international as well really really cool kit for that one next up we also have the amt 2010 camaro ssrs coupe and this is a hot wheels kit so what's really cool about this one we've got it uh molded with orange chrome uh rims that hot wheels look it's molded in three different colors uh it's in blue black and silver uh, different colors for that. There's some options for the windows uh, to go tinted or clear windows on the kit and it has a lot of other really neat features too. You can get a look at that Hot Wheels uh, decal sheet there and on the side here here's a look at uh, illustration for the 2010 Camaro and some of the interior so you can get an idea of how that detailed interior uh, will look. And there's a look at the parts tree on that kit as well. We got some more uh, pretty cool uh, Hot Wheels kits coming out too. Uh, different decals and liveries and stuff, so stay tuned for that. Lastly, we do have a new kit for uh, you big rig guys. So we've got the Miller High Life uh, Fruhoff Van Trailer Kit. So this is a really, really neat kit. Uh, of course, goes uh, together with our other 125th scale um, semi truck kits builds up really nicely here and has a lot of really cool features with this one you can get a look here at some of those the opening doors in the back uh, dual wheels with plated uh, rings on them it's got the um, uh, detailed suspension on it and just a lot of other really cool stuff and of course comes with that Miller High Life uh, decal sheet You've got the movable tandem suspension and, and uh, some of those options as well. And a look at the parts tree on the back for that kit. And for those of you guys who watch the video every month, you might remember uh, we did the the uh, tractor truck tractor for that trailer uh, last month. So this was the GMC Astro 95, the matching Miller High Life uh, truck. So you can put that on this trailer or you can build a different 125th scale and uh and put it up to that that van trailer as well that's everything for automotive we also have some accessories uh for sci-fi some star trek and some space 1999 stuff starting with the new star trek lighting kit this is for the 1350th scale uh tos uss enterprise ncc 1701 so we had a lighting kit made for this before we've gone through gotten a lot of feedback from you guys on uh different components of the kit that we could that we could go in and update and make better so this is our improved and updated kit has over 90 LEDs on it uh, we revised the instructions to make them a little easier it's got an on and off switch included now with it it's got colored clear parts for it um, it's got quieter engine fan motors you don't have to solder this kit together also has some better um, labeling for the for the wires that, that go with the kit here a little more information about uh, 
about how it goes together. And there's a look here where you can see um, the lighting effects, kind of how they work with that electronic motor. Got the flashing lights uh, controlled by the plug and play circuit boards. Um, circuit boards have also been uh, enhanced or made better from our previous uh, release of this lighting kit. So just a way to take your 1 350th scale uh, Enterprise and make it that much more realistic. Uh, in the same vein, we also have some new stuff for the USS Enterprise refit. So this is the re-release for our 1 350th scale uh, Aztec decal set for the refit version of the 1 350th. So you can get a look there at that big huge decal sheet uh, for that kit and all of those accessories and details that come with it all the different ship numbers and of course the uh kind of paneling sets and, and all of that that come with it and there's a look here on the back of course uh has a full decal placement guide that comes with it as well three different color options for it um and the different ship numbers really really uh uh cool decal sheet to put together for that and then lastly one more for you guys this is the space 1999 this is for our 22 inch eagle transporter kit so these are our weathering panel uh, decals for this kit so you can get a look at all the decals that come with that for building this uh, building out our 22 inch transporter one of our most popular uh, sci-fi kits really really popular kit and here's a look here you can see all the decals that are given um, to make these different styles. The transporter, you know, transporter with rescue pod, laboratory pod, a uh, lot of really cool stuff uh, included in with this kit. So that is everything that we have for model kits. Uh, like I said in the beginning, a lot of stuff on the way, a lot of stuff uh, in transit and coming in. So stay tuned. We'll keep telling you guys more information about that. Next, we're going to jump in and show you guys the 164th. All right, so for 164th, we've got some new Johnny Lightning stuff for you guys with newly tooled zingers in it. So uh, really, really cool with those. And we have some new Auto World 164th accessories to show you guys. We're gonna jump in with the Street Freaks first. Uh, first car here being the new zinger for the 1969 Chevy Kingswood Estate zinger. Uh, first one here, version A, lost at seafoam green great looking color for that and this just looks awesome as a zinger with that driftwood paneling on the side of it has that little driftwood number on, uh, or driftwood lettering on the side there and that big blown engine super super cool one for that and the second one here the grocery sledder uh in that light blue color another great looking thing i love uh zinger wagons i think this is a really really cool uh casting to put out so for those of you who don't know these castings were original are originally uh auto world uh, true 164th castings that we had new chassis made to put these into the zinger line these will only be in johnny lightning as zingers and they are still uh, able to be brought into our auto world line in their true 164th uh, true to scale counterparts so also um for zingers we have a second one here the 2011 chevy camaro this is another brand new zinger tool and this one is super cool the first one there uh, has these great looking tiger stripes on the side of it the camaro on the side you can see that newly tooled uh chassis just jacks that car up it's got that huge wing on the back of it that big um big cowled hood on it to give it that zinger look and just a really awesome one not a lot of uh not a lot of zingers that you see done with a newer body style car so it's really uh cool to change it up and do something different and you can see the version b here great looking as well uh i actually might even like this one better than the version a they are both just awesome but that's the wildcat black and white there got some carbon fiber detailing on that one too just another great uh great looking car for that next up projects in progress uh as part of the street freaks series the 1975 volkswagen super beetle convertible first version here it's in that lime green color with all the uh all the projects in progress rust on it you got those mismatched doors and hood kind of rusty looking bumpers rusty looking wheels just a beat up little uh little beetle and it's cool to do it with the with the uh convertible casting it's a really neat casting uh and looks great done up in this project in progress look here there second version here is in light blue also has uh some mismatched gray paneling and some really cool details on that as well or version b next in the release uh for our spoilers series 
This is the 1950 Mercury Woody Wagon. First one, tongue and groovy wagon. Uh, it's got the red, uh, great looking red uh, paint on it with that single racing stripe going down the side of it and that tongue and groove looking paneling uh, on the side there as well, that wood paneled look for that Woody Wagon. And it has drag wheels uh, on both version A and version B. Got those big meaty uh, drag wheel tires on the back to really give it that, that good stance. And of course version B here is in this great looking metallic orange color. This is the against the grain car. Next up in the release we have in black with flames. This is the George Barris Emperor. So really cool looking casting for this one that we haven't put out in a little bit here. First one being black with these silver flames, red interior. Just really, really cool looking uh, hot rod for that car. That chromed engine on it just looks perfect with that uh, with that silver flame coming in there. Second version is in black. It's got blue, blue flames down the side with little blue, light blue pinstriping on it and matching light blue interior. Really, really pops on that casting and just another great looking one here. And lastly, the t return of one of my favorite sub-series for Street Freaks, the Boogie Vans. This is the 1976 Ford Econoline van, the boogie van version of this. So for version A, we did it in blue. It's got some tie-dyed uh, detailing on at the top there. Those great looking orange stripes. It's got the side pipes on it. Just awesome looking hippie van uh, for that version A. And version B is in this bright green color, kind of this two-tone green look. Just another great, great looking uh, paint job for that. And it's nice to see the boogie vans coming back again. And that's everything we've got for Johnny Lightning. We also have some cool stuff for Auto World, uh, True 164. These are True 164 trailers. So you guys probably remember us tooling these. We've done these trailers in some of our other lines, but now we're gonna offer them separately uh, just so you can buy the trailer. These will be a hobby exclusive item. So first off here is the enclosed trailer. Uh, there it is in white for that first version. Great looking, uh, great looking detailing on that all the silver trim around the side and then we made a uh, version B or a second one for that uh, in black of course the back doors um, open on this so you can pull your cars up inside of it uh, like all of our auto worlds it is true 164 so it looks great with the rest of our auto world tools and just nice to offer something a little different in the auto world line and we also have coming out the open trailer so first one here is a black version of the trailer Got chrome wheels, great uh, detailing with the reflectors on the side. Really, really cool looking for that. So we have the one version uh, for this, the black one. We have a version with a uh, silver plating on the top that will be coming probably next month. Um, but we wanted to go ahead and show you guys that first version. So that's everything we have for 164th. Next, we're going to show you guys 118. All right, so first off for 118, we've got a really cool looking one for you guys. There's three cars total to show. First being this 1969 Pontiac GTO Judge. Here it is in goldenrod yellow uh, for this version here. A lot of really cool features with this car. Of course, has all the GTO Judge uh, striping down the side of it and all the details for that. Has the hood-mounted uh, tachometer on this version of it. A black vinyl top that's really, really cool looking. And it's got those Rally 2 style wheels uh, done without the trim rings for this version. Uh, being that it is one of our 118s everything you come to expect is true for this car opening doors and hood on it it's got a detailed engine steerable uh, front wheels precise accuracy inside out and in the engine bay and a lot of just really really cool features for that there's a look at the back of the box if you guys want to check out some of the uh detailing and some of the story behind this gto judge so great looking model for that one love that yellow color just super super awesome Next up, the 1947 Cadillac Series 62 convertible in Moderna Maroon. This is a super, super cool looking car. Um, that maroon just looks really awesome on it with that tan interior. You can see how detailed that interior is with that top uh, being off of there. All that detailing in the, in the dash has the red seats that really pop off the rest of the tan uh, inside of the interior. Great looking chrome trim on it, has opening doors and hood on this, uh, detailed engine, steerable front wheels, precise accuracy, and a uh, big V8 engine under the hood. So another great looking car for that. And there's a look at that illustration on the back. And lastly for 118, we have one more for you guys. This is 
Next in our class of 1971 series, this is the 1971 Ford Torino GT in Wimbledon white. Uh, some of the really neat features on this one, you've got that light blue laser stripe that looks really awesome with that Wimbledon white. This of course has the uh, black rear louvers on it, give it that really mean look, uh, especially from the rear there. You've got that uh, hood scoop, the black hood scoop matching on the side there, chrome wheels on it. Um, it's just a great looking car for this. Again, opening doors and hood. Uh, also opening trunk on this model. Has a detailed engine, several front wheels, precise accuracy, all of that great stuff. And a look at the back of the packaging on that one. Another one we're just really, really excited to bring this out for you guys. Love doing the class of 1971. Uh, all those class of series, it was really fun to do every year. So we'll have some more 118s on the way uh, and a lot of other stuff for you guys. So again, stay tuned. There's a lot of stuff in the pipeline that's, that's coming through. Um, we've got stuff we're going to be talking about on our Facebook pages. Go on there and check out all of our uh, sneak peeks. Check out our Instagram pages. Go to round2corp.com. If you want to see some of the stuff there, we actually have a section uh, for new tooling in there that you can kind of look at some of the stuff that we're working on. We keep all that there. Thank you guys for watching these. I hope you have a great 4th of July. We'll see you next month.